the same thing like a spot. Instead of just yanking the weight up, you know, just a little, a little push here can help you develop and build a little bit more strength. The thing I don't know if you notice, and I'm actually tapping the ground. With the what's tapping the ground is allowing me to do before we get into the actual chest press, which is going to be next. That's what we're going to do. We're going to do pull ups. So if you don't know me, pull ups is actually one of my favorite movements. And I'm going to tell you one thing: we do a lot of pull ups over here, but we're going to keep it simple. Just three sets of ten, nothing too crazy. Nice and easy. So do always be mindful too. Multiple plant hand grips you can use. If you're noticing, I'm doing this. This is gonna be a little bit more difficult because it does apply more stress to the forearms. So if you're somebody that wants to make it a little bit easier, lock those fingers just like this. Come on, you got it. Nice clean 10. Let's get it. Good. One, two, three, four, easy. Five, six, seven, easy. Eight, good, come on. Nine, good, come on. Up, ten, nice and easy, good. Nice. Keep in mind, when you're doing pull ups too, always make sure the core is nice and tight. So squeeze the core, very important. Remember, that should be your second point of contact. And what I mean by this is when you grip the bar just like this, when you hang in arms are straight, you should then feel it within core before you pull yourself up. If it's a point that you notice that you bring, drawing your knees forward as you pull up, doing a little bit of this, do me a favor and cross the feet. That's something that I kind of help you build a little bit more stability. Or if pull-ups are a little too much for you, I talk about this all the time, start off with machine pull-ups i prefer machine pull-ups over band because with bands if you don't have the right band meaning the band is too heavy then it's just going to launch you up up if your body doesn't have enough strength because sometimes it's the same thing like a spot instead of just yanking the weight up you know just a little a little push here can help you develop and build a little bit more strength but if the band like i said is a little too light so that's not going to help you and if the band is a little too heavy that's not going to help you so that's why i say machines all the time machines you can just change the weight itself the more weight you add on the more that's going to actually help you when it comes down to doing the pull up let's get it now you can see i'm switching the hand grips up too Nice and easy. Another thing I don't know if you notice, and I'm actually tapping the ground. With the what's tapping the ground is allowing me to do when I'm doing the pull up is just having a little bit of stress on the back. Because sometimes when you hang it too low, it could be a little too too stressful for some people. So for me, I like to kind of use that as a gauge. Am I working shoulders or I'm keeping all that tension in my back and then pull to the top? Another thing, don't forget about this. You could be very explosive when you're starting to give out on doing them by yourself. So if you're noticing you at rep seven and you can't do the last three, use a little bit more explosiveness. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Eventually, you'll be able to do the pull up without having to be explosive. But best thing you can do is control down in the back. On this next set, I gotta get real comfortable with doing pull ups, at least three sets of 10 before we really start getting busy with that weight. Good, get that stretch. There we go, fall down in the back. Make sure you falling down in the back, easy. Squeeze at the top. Don't use momentum. Squeeze at the top. Good. Up, 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 up. Nice. Up. Good work. What's that? I was eight. Two more. All right. Two more. I thought you. I know. I know you used to the isometric hold. You saying generally? So this is the thing. We generally do isometric holds to eventually be able to do more pull-ups as well. But I wanted to complete the 10 this time around. Let's go. Up, 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 up. Good, nice work. So as you can see, 
Rube gave y'all game without me even saying anything and I love it. So that's another thing you can do if you're fatiguing on your body weight pull-ups is on that last rep, if you know you can't get that next rep, if you're exploding or not, just do me a favor and do that isometric hold. But while you doing the hold at the top, identify and squeeze the back as much as you can. Once you're done doing the isometric hold, you can do three seconds, five seconds, 10 seconds, whatever you can bear. Once you've done that, do me a favor and draw down extremely slow while still engaging your back. Easy money right there. Let's get it. Remember for pull-ups too, setup is everything. This is me setting up. Ooh, nice clean 10. And two, you could put something like the Bosu ball at the bottom of your pull-ups because everybody's arms aren't as long as mine. I had to say that too. You can put that right there under your feet to allow you to focus on recruiting the back as you dead hang. Because sometimes dead hanging is going to help out as well, mainly for those who lack shoulder stability. Last one for rule. As many, many reps as possible on this one. One. Two, three, good work, come on. Four, all the way up, come on. Up, 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 ah. Ah, uh, you ain't gonna get that, it's good. It's good, give it 10 seconds, 10. Nine, you got this, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Up, let's get it. Easy, one, explode, two, ah. Ain't nothing wrong with that. That's into that. Let's get it. So do me a favor. Always remember this. If if the machine you're trying to get is taken, you got to move on to something else in the meantime. So what we're going to do is something that's going to actually help us when we do the, we do the chest press is we're going to do sit-ups real quick. Machine sit-ups. As you can see, we always start with this in general. You can still develop abs without having to put weight on this. I see a lot of y'all love putting 45 pounds, 50 pounds on this. You can easily, it's already weight on it. You can easily do this without having to put weight on it. You can just increase the number of reps. And then, you know, once you get comfortable with doing like three sets of 25, then you can go ahead and start throwing more in it. We're throwing more on it. Nice clean 25, Rube on the neck. So we just super setting with this real quick. We'll be in and out, in and out. If it's by some chance, the bench clear before, I'm just letting y'all know we ain't gonna finish the three. Let's get it nice and easy. Nice clean 25, remember, load those abs coming back, squeeze the abs when you come in. And load those abs when you come out, squeeze those abs when you come in, nice and clean, easy. 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 I see you, big dog. Good breathing, too. Good breathing. I forgot to do this, but adjust the seat. One thing you're going to notice if you got a small torso like me, this bay being all the way down, the adjustment being all the way down, you're going to feel a little bit of tension in your lower back. And if you're wondering why, just know, seat got to come up a little bit. Let's get it. Oh, that bad boy over. Fuck it. Y'all done? Oh, no. All right. 